Hi guys and welcome to another episode of uh, Whiskey and Sports where we uh, preview the Premiership uh, action over the weekend. Remember, if you like these videos, to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button and ring that notification bell. Now let's start off with the, the game of Friday night, which was obviously uh, Liverpool against Norwich. Um, I think this is a game that you know most people expected Liverpool to win. Um, as Norwich are probably one of the favourites uh, to be relegated. Um, turns out that Liverpool were, it was quite an easy game for Liverpool and they were uh, well on their way at half time, uh, running out eventual winners 4-1. Um, however, Liverpool didn't have this all their own way. They did, um, they did have uh, a little bit of a few scares at the back. And if it had been anyone other than Norwich, really, I think they would have uh, the game. This game would have been a lot closer than the four-one. Um, moving on to the, the Saturday and the early game was uh, West Ham against uh, Man City. Now this is a game that um, I was quite intrigued. I personally thought that this would be a uh, uh, a tight game for uh, for both teams. Uh, and the first half definitely turned out that way. Uh, Man City led 1-0 at half time. Um, they, uh, they defended well. Uh, there was a couple of scary moments, but you know the, the one piece of brilliance by uh, Kyle, uh, Kyle Walker, I think he did he notched a speed of 22 mile an hour to get down uh, to get down the flank and cross the ball in. Uh, but then in the second half, Man City just really took off. Um, two, three, four, uh, turn, um, returning a score finally of, of five nil, and uh, obviously the the first big VAR uh, VAR um, decision of the of the new season, where uh, Man City had a goal ruled off for uh, offside, uh, although uh, Sterling was only thirty five mil or thirty mil off. My opinion is offside is offside. Let it be thirty mil or three hundred mil. It doesn't matter. You're you're offside. You're offside. So that's that's my point of view. I know there's other uh, uh, giving the attacker the advantage, but my my opinion. You play to the rules of the game, and the rules of the game are offside. So he was offside. Um, now we return. Uh, now we turn our focus to uh, the Watford uh, Brighton and Hove Albion game. I guess this was the, the first big shock of the weekend. Uh, Brighton running out 3-0 winners and fully deserved. Um, this is actually a game that I had down as a, as a win for Brighton, although I, uh, I went 4-0. Um, I, I was quite surprised to see that Brighton did indeed win 3-0. Um, the next game was the Bournemouth v Sheffield United game. Uh, this was by all accounts a pretty dull affair uh ending in a 1-1 draw um with uh billy sharp getting the the, the equalizer for uh, sheffield united from the bench proving that he's not just a championship player he is an all-round player and can do it in uh in in all leagues uh, next, we turn our, our our attention to the the Burnley Southampton game. Again, this was the another high scoring uh, game with Burnley uh, returning uh, uh, turning out winners at three nil. Um, I think we we've seen a return for Burnley to their uh, to the form two years ago, where they sat pretty high in the table and uh, they didn't have the. The Europa League or European football to hold them back. So yeah, I think we'll we'll see a good year from Burnley. The next match was our first of our nil nil draws uh, between Palace and Everton. I guess there's not very much to be said about this match other than uh, the reception Saha got when he came on. It's clear that the fans love him, and I think he loves the fans. I think his uh, his gripe. Really was with the uh, with the owners of the club and not the fans. So hopefully, hopefully the next game he'll start and really show what he's worth. The final game on Saturday was uh, Spurs against uh, Villa. Uh, Villa led for a long, long time in this, uh, all the way up to late in the second half, <coughs> when uh, 
Tottenham new guy, uh, two guy in the belly, got the equaliser. And then that man that never scores in August just tapped in two goals to take the, to take the lead uh, with Spurs running out eventual 3-1 winners. Uh, the first game on the on the Saturday and the or sorry the Sunday and the next game with um, a bit of controversy for for VAR was the Leicester City Wolves game, uh, obviously ending in nil nil, but uh, there was a, a disallowed goal for for handball for Wolves. Um, other than that, I think you know, both teams played. Uh, a stalemate game and it, it turned out that uh, so far anyway, I know it's only one game, so far Leicester City uh, haven't missed Harry Maguire. At the same time as the, the Leicester Wolves game you had the, the Newcastle Arsenal game. Um, Arsenal running out eventual 1-0 winners over Newcastle uh, with a last minute goal from Aubameyang. Uh, pretty similar to um, the, the United goal where one of the Newcastle or the Newcastle sub lost the uh, the ball and then a long ball up to Aubameyang for him just to tap it in. Uh, a fortunate goal but a good piece of skill and which give Arsenal all the three points that they needed. Then to the, the last game of the weekend, Man United v Chelsea. Um, Man United running out 4-0 winners but I think the, the scoreline doesn't really tell the whole story of the game. Chelsea were well in this game up to the, the first hour. Um, hitting the, the post and the crossbar in the first half. Uh, Man United were quite lucky to go in one, one nil, uh, uh, with a 1-0 lead at half time. Uh, could have very easily been 2-1 down. Um, I think that confidence of winning at half time led to Man United. Uh, really expanding their game and maybe more of a, a tactical change by Solskjaer which pulled uh, Rashford further into um, in, into defensive duties which actually enabled the counter-attack to work more effectively. Um, United then hit two goals within within two minutes which really killed the game for, for Chelsea and it was nice to see um, Daniel James getting his first uh, first United goal and man did he enjoy it. It was a great celebration. Uh, point here, uh, having having actually watched this game, uh, Aaron Wan-Bissaka had a fantastic uh, first half. It was really, wor it was really um, visible why Man United paid 50 million for this kid. That's all for this episode of uh, Whiskey and Sports. And uh, remember to hit that subscribe button smash the like button and ring that notification bell and we'll see you in the next one.